Welcome back. It's time to engage the pirates. We will not have piracy within our sectors. We will protect our population. What do you want? Energy credits. I am not interested. Although 200 energy, eh, yeah, let's do it, whatever. Okay, so we'll be engaging these pirates now. And now that we got turbo lasers, they will sound awesome. Oh yeah, here we go. We got a massive advantage for now. They're using missiles, I forgot about that. We probably should have slapped down some point defense onto our ships. And we also are a little bit outnumbered at the moment, so I'm tempted to fall back at the moment and add a couple of point defense items to our ships. So we can fall back pretty quickly if necessary. We'll see how our losses go and then take it from there. So far, so good. We just lost shields. System survey complete. Construction complete. Okay. Okay, they're engaging. We can... Oh, yeah! That is a good sound. We can retreat in two days, if necessary. And they're losing ships pretty fast, while we haven't lost anything yet. Okay, we lost three ships so far. They're using mostly lasers, actually, in combination with missiles. We still have the advantage, which is good. The other fleet has not engaged us just yet. Oh, but those sounds are so good! Alright. Ooh, we can build destroyers. Advanced spaceport. Cruisers. Light cruisers and escorts. Excellent. Let's go to a ship designer and see if we can build anything new. Destroyers. Uh, is that a... V oh my god, I can build venators. Oh, that is so hot. Or more deadly space Doritos. We'll get to that shortly. We're still at an advantage for now, although our numbers are starting to dwindle. I'm going to fall back. Uh, cautious, which is nice. The fleet is falling back. Uh, we've done significant amount of damage to them. They've lost about 10 ships, I believe. Uh, 8, actually. So, we're gonna need to do a little bit better on our, uh, on our weapon platforms, to say the least. We'll, uh, start adding weapon platforms to our, uh, to our planet so we can at least increase our naval capacity by a significant number, and then we can take them on a little bit easier. Complete. Uh, but we, uh... System survey complete. But we played it safe, which is important. Incoming transmission. What do you want? You want energy credits for Tibiana gas? Yeah, sure, why not? How much do I still have? Wow, I've got, like, the world's largest supply of gas. Uh, yeah, I know, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so, mining stations, that's, again, uh, so many, so many minerals we can, we can get. Almost a hundred per turn now. Uh, that is pretty insane, actually. But yeah, the main problem with the pirate ships, obviously, they have larger numbers. Uh, they will be regening their ships, but they have lost a fairly large amount as well, so. As soon as we come back, we should be able to take them out, but, uh, the first, you know, the first proving grounds have been set. We still cannot see into the system. Let's go to... Uh, is this place up and running yet? No, it is not. So planetary sensor range is now improved. So now we can actually take a look in here. They have a singular star dreadnought and a bunch of really powerful stations. So that is the Raven's Claw Relic Class ship. The planetary systems... Oh my god, they've got so many... Experimental unit Orichi, Xenomorph army. They do a lot of damage, and their defensive positions are pretty strong as well. Uh, we'll have to address this as soon as we got 30,000 fleet power, but considering the sheer amount of uh, weapons we have, that should not be a problem. Okay, so 501 is now uh, a rally point, as it should be. 
and we can upgrade our System main capital. Okay. So let's go to our ship designer. Uh, let's add a bunch of venators here. And let's auto-complete these designs. Mostly shields. Do I have any armor? No, I do not have any armor. Okay, so is this even venator class? I don't even know if it's... It looks like it. It's uh, it looks very so no, it's definitely not a venator class. Although, yeah, it doesn't have the it doesn't have the classic wings on the side. So, uh, <laughs> I could call it star destroyer because to be a troll and all that. Research complete. Uh, star gunship, I guess. I don't know which class this is. Looks cool though. I do approve. Okay, energy siphon is done. Uh, Arc Trooper squads, nice. Habitability plus five for breathing masks is cheap. A little bit of a uh, Empire reference there. Republic class. Why would I do that? Um, I'm gonna go and replace the Republic class because yeah, it's not very good. It does have large guns on it, but right now we don't need any large guns. We need. Um, uh, instead of large guns, we need uh, mostly small and mediums. To terrorist civil authority. Xenophobic isolationists, I like you! We have much to gain with this encounter. You don't want to interact with anybody. I want to conquer the galaxy. We're all good. As long as you don't mess with us. Terrorist civil authority. Where are you guys? You are to the north of the, of the core. Okay. Okay, where is this science ship? It's all the way down here. Okay. If I surveyed everything in here, it does look like it. And there is the Rakata, which we cannot do anything with because they do not like us very much. Whatever, man. Okay, so mining stations being built. Some other stuff and... Oh god, we just basically went through our entire economy in just, like, one shot. Alright, we've had started adding Star Destroyers. Okay, habitability plus five. Petharian Dust is nice. It increases our food output. And yes, I'm aware about our influence being crazy high. Um, have I... Situation log updated. Moff the second has been elected Moff. That's cool. that's cool, I guess. Can I add another civic yet? No, I cannot. That is annoying. I have so much influence, and I don't really know where to spend it. Um, farming subsidies, I guess. And I will give you... Um, propaganda broadcast? No. Reeducation? Yeah, let's go for propaganda broadcasts to keep him happy. But yeah, we got a new moth. The Twi'lek! You will make excellent dancers, and they're slaving despots! I like you! They are good, good, good people. Yeah. They got those weird tentacles coming out of their heads. What are you going to do, right? What are you going to do? Is send them into the Rancor pit? Yes. Yes, yes, you definitely send them into the Rancor pit. Okay. Why is this not set as... Okay, you are set as a rally point. Where is the Twi'lek Council, anyway? They're like... Oh, they're all the way over here. All these species are doing really weird expansion stuff. Like, there's expanding over here and over here and like the chests are going down in here like it doesn't really make much sense there's the Cree by the way the Gree okay the keeper of knowledge we don't know how ex how powerful this Killick Dreadnought is so until we have at least Venators or Imperial class Star Destroyers we're not gonna go and mess with those just yet um, okay, so right now I wanted to upgrade all the mining stations in here. And you are building all mining stations in there. We cannot do anything with this system yet. Is this within my space? No, barely though. And plunder, which is a potential next system for us to expand into. 501 is getting a station just for defensive purposes. Oh, and of course, how could I forget? Uh, this system also needs to be uh, set up. Yeah, but we're going to get over 100 minerals per month. 40 years into the game is actually kind of ridiculous. 
So uh, that's the thing. Okay, so where is this science ship? It's all the way down at the end of Chiss Ascendancy. Sp oh, your the leader has died. Well, that's unfortunate. Uh, let's put a uh, powerful force user on there because uh, an anomaly fail risk is less of an issue then. Which, in combination of some of the other stuff that we have, is going to be actually really useful because basically we'll have somebody who can plow through all these anomalies without too many problems, uh, which is exactly what we want. And then we'll uh, look through chess space as well. Um, I could add more destroyers. How much fleet power do they have? Maintenance. It doesn't really... S why does it say that? Power, 15. Oh, no, it's just it's power usage. It takes twice as long to build. Damage, 10 per second. This is 16 per second. Okay. So a little bit more damage output, Research I guess. Complete. But yeah, star, star gunships are there, so... Pytharian lifespan has been increased. Crew quarters and engineering baits, very important, actually. And you are going to be building mining stations in there ASAP. Uh, mandate fulfilled. Okay. Meanwhile, we got another researcher in Chiss space that hasn't done all that much recently. So I'll just get him to do more surveying. Which, in combination of our... Uh, like I said, traditions uh, should make things really useful. And Planetary Survey Corps. Uh, that's been nerfed into the ground, but it's still really good. Uh, it gets, I think we get, what is it again? Like a third? Uh, it used to be a third. It's now a tenth. But still, it's, it's research in the bank, which we desperately need. We need to start to get ahead of the enemy. They're protective of us. Oh, no. The Chiss Ascendancy are protective of us. That's so nice. We're not going to be their vassal, though. They can go and uh, screw themselves if they want to do that. But how about these guys? Their fleet power is inferior, but they have a defensive pack with a galactic banking, a banking clan, the Arcadian Dominion, which is unfortunate. How about these guys? Yeah, we can't really do anything with that. These ones, however, aren't really liked by anybody. It does have a... God damn, they've got a defensive pack with a Zabrak Council. Uh, that would potentially be, if we can outgun the Zabrak, then, as well as these guys at the same time, we can basically destroy their fleets. Now, their fleet consists of almost nothing. 475 fleet power, which is literally nothing. So, Imperial Corps is going to have a crew quarters, just so we can get the cost down a little bit. And our economy is struggling, which means it's finally time to start upgrading... Uh, some of our energy plans. Of course, first we're adding a new lab and uh, other stuff as well, obviously. Uh, more energy is good. Pelagius, yes, I know this is not optimal. I'm sure many people are triggered by this. And this is all mineral output, which is actually kind of nice. Okay, good. So we're getting 113 minerals a month, which is staggeringly good. How strong is this? 912. The other one is 1100. Uh, we still don't have enough ships to deal with them, though. But it will reduce cost quite nicely. Which is exactly what we want. Uh, at least for the... That should reduce it by 25%, I think. Yeah, it actually reduced it by 1. Which is still 1. And 1 is something. Uh, right now, we're just pumping a lot of resources and getting all of our uh, infrastructure up and running. Plus, we now have access to this one as well. Mm. Okay. System survey complete. Okay, so that's good. And we could build up. Oh, of course, solar panel networks. How could I forget? That should help our economy slightly. How strong are the Rakata? Overwhelming. Well, that's not something we can play around with it for a little while. Uh, Desert World 15. We can't really do it because of the chiss that are over there. Mm-hmm. 
As soon as you're done here, you can go and uh, start mining complete. these seven. I think we've pretty much got everything covered within our territory anyway. What do you got? Uh, ooh, automatic complete. exploration, always good. Uh, shield uh, hit points plus 20% is definitely something we want. Let's play around with uh, some of these other destroyer designs, which is the artillery bow. Very basic design, actually. What kind of small weapons? So it's large, basically large guns, which is not useful to us at this moment in time. Because we're not really countering any cruisers, so. But it's still maybe useful in the near future. Uh, naval capacity increased, core sector systems to grow, the fleet academy. Absolutely. Um, infrastructure target, I guess, and land of opportunity. And we can upgrade complete. all of this stuff now. Complete. Incoming transmission. So let's build complete. some energy here, which is going to be useful. And that's pretty much it. What do you want? No, Yoda, I'm not going to share my goddamn star charts with you. You green scum. Okay, so we got 1,400 fleet power. We got a cautious admiral, which increases weapon range, ship upkeep, and another 10% weapon range as well. So overall, it's actually looking surprisingly good. I, I don't know about the cost here, though. See, shield recharge rate is pretty high, and combat evasion is a little bit less. But still, shields are a lot stronger. We've got more guns, obviously. So let's just build a couple more uh, Star Destroyers and be done with it. Yeah, that should, in theory, be fine. And then the Strike Force should be ready to head out again and take out these pirates. Uh, Number-wise, we got 21 ships in here. They have... We need at least... They've got 24. Okay. Well, number-wise, we have an advantage. But yeah, number-wise, we have an advantage. Uh, well, gun-wise, we have an advantage for now, at least. Which is kind of positive. Uh, Sidious, we can upgrade if we want to. Right now, I'm not really that interested. Um... Am I I'm, I'm, I'm researching... Yeah, nine months from now, we'll be able to get carriers, light cruisers, and escorts. So that's Galactic Empire carriers. The Grand Academy is great. Uh, cheaper word amounts is also great, but pretty far away. Leader of the Living State recruitment, which is nice, which I do want. So we can have more leaders. Okay, all of our leaders are still there. Let's actually take a look at our leaders in general. Mm, they're pretty good. We can have two more, but as soon as we get the living state, we can get an additional two, so four in total, which is rather nice. Okay, so two more star gunships coming off of the production line. Let's take a look at the fleet. It's looking pretty strong. Mm-mm-mm. I wonder, I wonder if I can add an eclipse to this. Who doesn't want a 23 kilometers long monstrosity? Camino! Camino cloners! See themselves a superior form of life, but nevertheless remain polite to outsiders. Clone me some stormtroopers! System survey or clone troopers in this case, or arc troopers, or whatever you want to call them. And the Mandalorian warrior clans! Hello there, Mandalorians. I like you. Your authoritarian, militarists, and ma materialists. We have much to gain. Give me your armor. System Where system are you, complete. actually? Are you really far away? Oh, you're all the way up in here. Surprisingly, the Mandalore is in here. Cool. Mandalore body armor. Mandalore clans. Very cool stuff. So one more star gunship should be enough. Construction complete. He says, while building a shit ton more Corvettes. Okay. What's this? The Trade Federation and Togarara Royal bullshit. Before you ask, no, we're not sharing our technology. I don't want to share your technology. I want your planets. Yogoi. Is that, that sounds like Israel. That sounds like Hebrew. Yogoi. Hmm. 
have I basically mined everything in here? Basically mining. Oh, is this within my territory yet? No. Almost though. And oh, okay. Min stations being built. This is being built. We're basically tapping all of our stellar resources within our empire. Let's take a look if we can build a new defense platform. With medium and large guns, of course. Turbo lasers. And let's upgrade this design. It's getting subspace snare. I'm not really sure about oh, subspace complete. snare. Oh, oh, hold on. More, more important stuff just happened. Uh, okay, 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 okay. Imperial escort carrier. Interesting. Well, a lot of uh, point defense and uh, strike craft, but I haven't actually developed TIE fighters yet, so that is unfortunate. Uh, what are our other options here? GE light cruiser. Ooh, ooh. Oh, yeah, Vindicator. I love you. And the Victory, which is... Eh, it's got mostly large guns on it. What's the difference here? It's exactly the same utility. And, uh, Victory back. Vindicator. Yeah, we need. We want to go for Vindicator, though. So, Vindicator back is two medium slots in the lows. Uh, which is like this. Okay. Uh, the Vindicator, we sadly, we cannot add any... Ah, man, I want to add the Vindicator. Because it looks cool, but I don't have any... I, I literally don't... Oh, wait, I have Scout Wings, so I can put that in, I guess. Uh, but yeah, the rest of it is going to be Turbo Lasers in every single slot possible. And uh, there you go. Uh, Vindicator. Vindicator class, which is a cruiser design. Uh, which is exactly what we want. So, and then let's go for the escort designs, which is the Vigil, the Kuat weapon platforms, the Vigil Corvette, the Nebulon B, baby. Oh yeah, this 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 rustles all of my jimmies in a good kind of way. Uh, I don't have any point defense yet, but uh, I will add this beauty to my sh to my fleet soon. Let's cancel all the ships. Let's get a spaceport upgrade, and let's get ready to add a Vindicator class to my fleet, because I really want one. Okay, so we can... That's a light cruiser, Gilgamesh. Let's just delete that one before we just get too many ships in our in our stuff. Uh, the destroyer's taken care of. We can get rid of the Wavrin, or Wyvern, whatever you want to call it. Javin's Glory. That is a Kuat weapons platform, apparently. Kind of cool. Uh, it is... Oh, my God. It's got large guns all over the place. Blaster laser. Why would I do that? Uh, and, uh... Yeah, let's, uh... Kuat's... Uh, weapons... Platform. Construction complete. Perfect. And that's, uh... Mostly large guns as well. And it's it looks like it's got, like, a... Like a Spinal mound laser. I guess those are the large ones. Um, from mineral store, it's turbo laser research chain refined to be on a ga cruiser. How long? 77 months. Um, can I even build the star cruisers now? No, I want to go down the, the turbo laser train, though. So these are escorts and light cruisers. Okay, so we can at least... I believe we can build those. And we can. We'll build two of them for now. They cost a lot of minerals, like a pretty damn large amount of minerals. The GE Carrier, which is the Corellia class. System survey complete. Damage, 27. But the Vindicator does 39. So it's basically a giant uh, space Dorito of with, with fuck you signs pointed all over it. But we're going to wrap up this episode here, and we're going to move on next time. When our Vindicators come off the production line, and the pair of pirates will then... Uh, meet their demise. Until next time, take good care of yourselves, and remember, this tale of Darth Blade is the wise. <laughs>